the theater as an art form for me represents a kind of ritual experience which is central to who we are as human beings. We are story-driven creatures. We understand things through narratives on this most fundamental level. It's something that connects us with what it means to be alive. Uh, and, and, and there isn't anything else that does that. Well, in the big city of New York, you can always talk about the arts, but you can always talk about show business. And it's been a driving engine in this city since the beads were traded for Manhattan Island. I mean, 42nd Street was known for its arts and its theaters and the Follies and all of that. For a while there, you know, 42nd Street, when I first moved to New York, had nothing to do with the arts. Oh, it was like an open air market in some third world country, something like, you know what I mean? Like it was really wild. Porno shops. I remember walking into one one day because I thought it was a bookstore or something. And the man came up to me and he said, lady, I think you're in the wrong shop. I obviously didn't look like I was going to buy porno. <laughs> in the 90s, Rolling Stone called it the sleaziest block in America. There were six reported felonies a day on 42nd Street between 7th and 8th Avenue. And the city and state recognized that to revitalize 42nd Street would revitalize New York. In April of 1990, we formed a not-for-profit called the New 42nd Street. We were given responsibility for seven of the block's historic theaters. And the victory was the theater that they were going to develop first. And we said, what can we do that won't replicate anything happening in the performing arts in the city? We just decided we were going to have a children's theater on 42nd Street. People thought we were out of our minds. So the idea that Cora Khan had such a vision to take a porno house and change it into a children's theater is very brave. She just somehow or other saw this street and imagined it completely differently. To preserve the quality of the theater district, and make it viable and inviting and vibrant. I don't know that it gets enough credit, uh, the new 42nd Street, for the reclamation of Times Square. And I think what the new Victory does is it expands people's ideas of what can be on stage. When I came to the new Victory for the first time, I was surprised at how creative and inspired and sort of industrious it was, how unconventional the approach to storytelling was. We've been able to use the new victory to create all kinds of educational teaching programs. And now we're reaching 40,000 New York City school kids a year. Thank you! They make it their mission to make sure that kids from all schools across the city get here. And that is, I think, what changes lives. And it's not just kids in the audience. We also have an usher corps of high school students from all around the city. Oh, I've changed so much since I started here. When I first came in, I was a very, very shy kid. Through the usher corps program, they work with us and uh, they get job training and leadership skills. It feels great that they could see the leader in me before I saw it in myself. I wouldn't be where I am without the usher corps program. You know, I think what the new 42nd Street does so incredibly well is they create a community of theater for young people. And then the other thing is rehearsal space, which they also took on. The new 42nd Street studio building is a series of rehearsal studios. Shows that are on their way to Broadway rehearse in this building. And many, many uh, nonprofit dance companies and theater companies work here as well. So the commercial rehearsals help subsidize the nonprofit rehearsals. This has uh, been a wildly successful experiment. The 42nd Street Studios, we all, I think, uh, flourished here. So it really uh, has made such a profound contribution to the arts. They made something out of nothing. 
And once something like this catches on, it doesn't end. Theatre and the arts encourage people to express themselves. Whether you grow up to be an actor or a dancer or a director or not, it just it gives you permission to live a fuller life. That would be my favorite thing about what this organization and what the new 42nd Street Studios do. They allow you to imagine more than you have. As a whole organization, we are very aspirational. We have a kind of yearning to always try to figure out what else we can do, what haven't we thought of, and never sit back and be satisfied in saying that's it. <laughs>